heart went Continuing the different operations that we have with matrices, we have division or inverse of matrix or matrices. And how do we solve for the inverse of a matrix? So we have several rules we have to follow when we solve for the inverse of the matrix. But to be clear on the formula, the inverse of a matrix may be solved using this formula. So let's say you have um, the inverse of B. To solve for its inverse, you have to solve for B adjoint or the adjoint matrix of B and divide it by the determinant of B. Okay, so question here is, how do we solve for the adjoint matrix? Or how do we start solving the inverse of a matrix? Going back, these are the rules that we have to follow when we take the inverse of a matrix. Number one, you have to find the determinant of the matrix. Okay. Do not solve an inverse without solving for, for the determinant first because as you can see in the formula, kung ang determinant natin ang yari ay 0 siya, magkakaroon tayo ng denominator which is 0. And if your denominator is 0, ibig sabihin, we will have an undefined fraction because of the presence of 0 in the denominator and therefore, we would not have an inverse. So, if your determinant is 0, ibig sabihin, the inverse does not exist. But, if the der determinant is not equal to 0, we continue with the following. So, you can create the, tra the transpose of the matrix or you can start with the, next, with the next step first before you take the transpose. Ako, usually, I take the next step first before I transpose. So, what you're going to do is, before you transpose, you replace each element of your transpose, or pwedeng hindi pa siya transpose, you just have the symbol T outside. So, parang mangyayari dito. You have a matrix with the symbol T outside. Okay? Tapos, we'll, we'll work on the elements inside first before we take the transpose. And after taking the transpose, that would give you your adjoint matrix. So, ang gagawin daw dito is, you are going to replace every element in the matrix by its corresponding cofactor. So, bawat element papalitan ng cofactor. And then, after mo mapalitan ng cofactors, remember si cofactor ha? Negative 1 raised to i plus j multiplied by its minor where the minor is a determinant. So, in short determinants yung magiging laman ng ating matrix and then after mo ma-solve yung determinants inside you've replaced the elements by their cofactor ita-transpose mo ngayon yung matrix mo and that will be your adjoint matrix pag nakuha mo na si adjoint matrix you divide each element of the adjoint matrix by the determinant tatandaan matrix ang meron ka so kapag nag-divide ka every element in the matrix will be divided by your divisor and the result will be your inverse Okay, pag nakuha mo na si inverse, and you, know now, you now know how to solve for the inverse, the principle may be used when you're being asked to divide matrices. So, if you have A divided by B, so you have two matrices of A over B, para makuha mo yung uh, quotient between A over B, the, re the resulting solution would be multiplication. So, you're going to take the inverse of your divisor, which is B. Pag in-inverse mo si divisor, it will be multiplied to your numerator or your dividend. Okay? Pag na-multiply siya, it will be a multiplicand and your dividend will be a multiplier. So, tatandaan, when we proceed with this kinds of operation, sequence is very important because in multiplication, we are not allowed to commute or change position our factors or our multipliers and multiplicand. So, hindi pwedeng magpalit ng position. That's why, whenever you are dividing, yung, yung denominator mo always comes first in the sequence and then your numerator becomes your multiplier. So, let me give you or show you an example. Let's say you have matrix A, which is in an in box brackets. To take the inverse of matrix A, we have a formula for this, and that is to get the adjoint of matrix A 
or the adjoint matrix and divide it by the determinant of the given matrix. So, the first step when you're solving for an inverse is to first solve for the determinant of the given matrix because if a determinant is non-existent, therefore, the denominator will be zero and it will be undefined, which means we will not have um, an inverse of the said matrix. Also, if since we are using determinant, ibig sabihin, dapat yung matrix natin, square dapat siya. If it is not square, we cannot solve for its inverse. Okay? So, let's have an illustration. Let's say we have um, matrix A is 2 by 2, and it has 2, negative 1, 3, negative 4. Silipat natin dito. Negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 4. To be the elements or the entries in matrix A. How are we going to form the adjoint? And how are we going to solve for its inverse? Now, let's solve first for the determinant of matrix A. And by Leibniz, this is simply negative 2 times 4 minus 3 times negative 1. And it gives you a determinant which is equivalent to negative 8 plus 3. So you get negative 5 as our determinant. Since we have a value for the determinant, it means we have an inverse. And if we're going to solve for the inverse, after taking the determinant, we can proceed to the next step. The next step is to form the transpose of the matrix. So we are going to solve for the transpose. And after that, replace each element of the transpose by its corresponding cofactor. So pwede nating sabihin na... Um, yung matrix A natin which composes of elements A, I, J if you replace that with delta I, J, ibig sabihin the cofactor the elements, all the elements will be replaced by their cofactor and then transpose that that will give you your adjoint matrix. So let's follow this. So ang gawin natin, kuhanin muna natin yung cofactors and then Reply, uh, saka natin siya i-transpose. So, if your, if your matrix is for the adjoint matrix A, that would be okay. That would be the cofactor of negative 2. So, we cross this out. That would be 4. Correct? Times the sign. So, that's positive. Or, pwedeng sa huli na natin ilagay yung sign. So, cofactor of negative 2 will be 4. Cofactor of negative 1 will be 3. O, cross out lang natin. Cofactor of 3, that would be negative 1. And then, cofactor of 4, that would be negative 2. And then, and then apply your sign. Do not forget the sign. Minors pa lang ang meron tayo dito. So, apply the sign. We have positive, negative, positive. So, negative 2 pa rin yan. Negative. So, negative times negative 1, that will make it positive. Okay? And then, afterwards, transpose that matrix, and it gives you an adjoint equivalent to our adjoint equivalent to transpose. So, lilipat natin to. That would be 4, negative 3, and this will be on the second column. 4, negative 2. Okay, let me give a recall on what matrix A is. Matrix, matrix A consi consists of negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 4. And what happened? If you're going to compare this to the adjoint, anong nangyari? Ang nangyari ay nagpalit ng posisyon. Itong diagonal na to, ba? If you're going to compare that. Nagpalit sila ng position. And then, nagpalit ng sign, yung right diagonal naman. So, your left diagonal changed position, your right diagonal changed sign. We can use this as a shortcut if we are solving for 2 by 2 matrices and their adjoints. Pero if the matrix is 3 by 3, we cannot apply that property. Kasi, hindi, um, we have remaining elements in the 3 by 3 matrix we're in, we do not know how they will 
behave if we solve for their adjoint equivalent. But for 2 by 2, ito yung shortcut natin. So, continuing this, we can solve for our A inverse by dividing the adjoint by the determinant we've solved. And as we can recall, our determinant of A is equivalent to negative 5. So, substituting um, this in the formula, you get 4, 1, negative 3, negative 2. And then you divide all of this by negative 5. So, every element in the matrix will be divided by negative 5. You get negative 4 fifths, negative 1 fifth. Negative 3 divide negative 5 is 3 fifths positive. Negative 2 divide negative 5 is 2 fifths positive. So, this is your A inverse. Okay, or pwede nyo i-transform into decimal, whichever is convenient para sa inyo. Walang problema. I think you're familiar with how we transform our vectors from Cartesian coordinates to spherical coordinates. And I'm sure Engineer Norbert has given you the following formulas when we convert from Cartesian to spherical. And as you noticed, when we convert from spherical naman to Cartesian pabalik, di ba... There's a description in the transformation that this that the answer is simply the inverse of Cartesian to spherical. So this particular example, I want to show you how it appeared to look like it's just a transpose when in fact the description is that it is an inverse. Okay, so before that, let me show you how the augmented matrix is made. So we have here this particular equation equivalent to the R component in spherical. And as you can see, this particular equation has three variables in it. And these variables are the Cartesian components that we have. You have X component, Y component, and Z component of the point. And this three will represent our variables equivalent to this um, sum of products. Now, when we write linear equations... But this is a trigonometric function, di ba? So, when we write linear uh, equations po, papuntang matrix form, it just follows principle of multiplication of matrices. So, when we transform this, papuntang matrix po, you'll have an answer matrix, a matrix that represents the answers of each of your equations, and that would be represented by P sub R, P sub theta, and P sub phi. And this is equal to, so this will represent the product of two matrices. Those two matrices are your coefficient matrix and your variable matrix. So, we'll have here, we're going to write the coefficients of each of the variable in the same sequence. So, if you are writing the coefficients in the sequence of x, y, z, you have to write the coefficients of the second row in the same manner. So, hindi siya pwedeng majumble, okay? Kailangan iisa yung sequence ng variables natin and terms. So, for Px, let's say all of the coefficients of x components are on the first column, y components on the second, and z components on the third. So, for Px of the first equation, it has coefficient sine theta cosine phi. For y component, that's sine theta sine phi. And for the z component coefficient, that's cosine of theta. For second row, second row will represent your second equation. Your second equation has coefficient, so let's start with x, that would be cosine of theta, cosine of phi. And then we have positive cosine of theta, sine of phi. And we assume or we, uh, we adopt the sign if it has negative sign, and that's negative sine of theta. And then for the third equation, we have x, which is negative, so that's negative sine phi and y, which is cosine phi. And since we do not have a z component here, that would be equivalent to zero to complete the matrix. Multiply this with a column vector, so a, a single column matrix that contains the three variables in the same sequence we arranged this um, coefficient. So that would be px, py, and P sub Z. So as you can notice, this is a 3 by 3 matrix to be multiplied to a 3 by 1 matrix and 
Yan. We can check for conformability. They both have, they are equal or they are conformable. Which means, if nauna sa inyo yung PX, PY, PZ dito sa unahan ng coefficient matrix natin, you cannot anymore multiply this because the matrix is not anymore conformable. So, this is the correct sequence for what we call an augmented matrix. So, augmented matrices are made from systems of equations. And if you have systems of equations with a um, consistent set of variables, we can transform that into a matrix form. So, if you want to solve naman this time, ito kasing matrix ito, it represents your Cartesian to spherical transformation. And um, as shown in the formulas that you have, the spherical to Cartesian transformation just is just an inverse of this particular equation. So, if we want to solve for the Cartesian coordinates naman, ito yun, we have to transpose this coefficient matrix papunta sa left side of our equation. So, if I'm, uh, if I'm going to represent each of this, let's say, let's say this is matrix A equal to this one is B. And let's say this is your matrix C. So if this is A equal to BC, where A represents your spherical components and C represents your Cartesian components, to solve for the Cartesian, solve for C by dividing both sides by B. And if we do that, B will be cancelled on the right side. You'll get C equal to A over B. And when we divide matrices, the divisor becomes, we inverse the divisor, and the divisor becomes a multiplicand in our solution. So, that would be C equal to B inverse muna. It will be a multiplicand multiplied to A becomes your multiplier. So, kanina dividend siya magiging uh, multiplier siya this time. So, this particular sequence hindi siya pwedeng baguhin because conformability issues. Okay? So, ang gagawin ngayon natin... Para masolve natin si PX, PY, PZ, we have to solve for the inverse of this coefficient matrix. Okay, so I have here our coefficient matrix, which we represented as B, and we're going to solve for B inverse. And we know that when we solve for B inverse, our solution is the adjoint of matrix B divided by the determinant of matrix B. And as per our instruction, before you solve for the adjoint, you have to solve for the, the determinant first just to make sure that we do not have an undefined inverse or an inverse that does not exist just so it happened na your matrix B is zero. For the determinant of matrix B, I'll be solving this using cofactor method. And with cofactor, we know we have to choose a specific row or column and as per my previous solutions, I always use the first row. So, we're going to multiply every element on the first row by its cofactor. Thus, it will give us the determinant of matrix B. And that would be equivalent to the first element, which is sine theta, cosine phi. Multiply that by negative 1 squared. Bakit squared? 1, 1. Diba? 1 plus 1. Times okay, times its minor, so you're going to cross this out, you'll be left with this matrix, and then we'll solve for its determinant. And that would be 0 minus, so that would be 0 minus negative, so it becomes positive, sine theta, cosine phi, okay, plus second element, so sine theta, sine phi, Negative 1 raised to 1 plus 2. Diba? First row, second column. So, 3, negative 1 cube, that gives you negative sign. Or yung sabi natin natin, positive, negative, positive. Okay, multiplied by, it's minor. So, we're going to cross this out. You'll be left with this 4 entries. So, that would be 0 ulit. 0 minus, upward diagonal natin is positive, sine theta, sine phi and then for the last element which is cosine of theta that's positive cosine of theta multiplied by we're going to cross that out you'll be left with this 4 
And this gives you cosine theta, cosine theta, cosine phi times cosine of theta. That's cosine theta, cosine squared phi, minus negative, so magiging positive na, positive, cosine theta, sine phi squared naman ano, or sine squared phi. Okay, so let's try to simplify this. This will be equivalent to sine theta cosine phi multiplied to itself. That will give you sine theta cosine phi quantity squared. Negative, negative, positive. Sine theta sine phi squared. You have sine theta sine phi squared. Plus, you have cosine theta here. And in these two terms, cosine theta is common. So if you factor that out, it will be multiplied to cosine theta also. So this will be cosine squared theta multiplied by factoring cosine theta you get cosine squared phi plus sine squared phi. Okay? By Pythagorean identity, we know that sine squared, an angle, plus cosine squared, the same angle, gives you, gives you 1. So this will be 1. And then, you have sine theta squared. Sine theta squared is common on these two terms. So, we can factor that out as sine squared theta. You'll be left with cosine squared phi plus sine squared phi plus, this is simply cosine squared theta na lang. Kasi multiplied by 1. So, again, Pythagorean identity gives you sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi is equivalent to 1. So, we'll be left with sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. And that also gives you 1. So, yung determinant pala ng coefficient matrix natin or B is simply equivalent to 1. Okay, which means meron tayong inverse. Next, let's create our adjoint matrix. For the adjoint of our coefficient matrix, that would be equivalent to so, we are going to prepare cofactors of all elements. We are going to replace, papalta natin lahat ito ng kanilang cofactor. So, ang gawin natin, kunin muna natin yung determina, yung mga minors nila. Okay. Okay, so we are going to cross out the element and then replace it by its minor. So, for the minor, I'll just solve it na diretsyo. So, ito ay 0 minus, so positive, sine theta, cosine phi. Ba't naging positive kasi negative yun? Ano po? Okay, next, I'll replace sine theta, sine phi. So, we'll, we'll cross this out. You'll be left with this. Two matrices. Ah, sorry. Two columns. So, that would be 0 ulit minus positive. So, negative sine theta, sine phi. And then, for this one naman, we're going to cross out cosine theta and this row. So, you'll be left with this one. So, let's solve it first before we, we put, we input it to first row, third column. Ano? And that would be cosine theta, cosine squared phi, minus negative. So, that gives you positive. Sine phi times cosine theta, sine phi. So, that would be cosine theta sine squared phi. And this is almost the same yung ginawa natin kanina sa determinant. Cosine theta is common. We can factor that out. You'll be left with cosine squared phi plus sine squared phi. And this gives you 1. So, ang sagot natin, cosine theta for the thir first row, third column. This is cosine theta. Second row, cosine theta, cosine phi. So, we're going to cross this out and the second row. And that, that will be replaced by this. That would be 0 minus the product of this. So, negative cosine theta, cosine phi. For the for element A22 or B22, sorry. So, we're going to cross this out. We'll be left with all the elements in the corners. So, we have 0 ulit, minus negative. So, positive, ito. Positive cosine theta 
sine phi. And then, we're going to cross out B23. So, ito yon. Cross this out and this column. You'll be left with this 4. So, for this, for the determinant of this 4, dito natin isolve, you get um, sine theta cosine squared phi minus negative. So, that becomes positive. Sine theta sine squared phi. So, this time, common naman si sine theta. We can factor that out. Pag pinaktor mo si sine theta, you'll get cosine squared plus sine squared, which is 1. Which means, our answer for this is sine theta. So, for our last row, okay, let's start with negative sine phi. We're going to cross out this row and this column. So, you'll be left with this. Let's try to simplify this. So, this is negative sine squared theta sine phi minus cosine squared theta sine phi. So, common si sine phi and negative sine. So, we get negative sine phi times sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. So, this is 1. Therefore, our answer is negative sine phi for B31. So, negative sine phi. And then, for cosine phi naman, we're going to cross this out. So, ito yung tira sa atin. So, simplifying this, you have negative sine squared theta cosine phi minus itong dalawa. That would be cosine squared theta cosine phi. So, common naman dito si cosine phi and negative sine. So, negative cosine phi, if factored out, you'll get sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Which means this is 1. So, you get negative cosine phi for B32. Negative cosine phi. Negative cosine phi. And then for our last element, which is 0, so this will be crossed out. You'll get this. For this one naman, you get sine theta cosine phi cosine theta sine phi minus, ito, minus cosine theta cosine phi sine theta sine phi. And it shows na this, this two are similar terms. Ah, this is sine phi. Similar term sila. Which means, the difference is zero. So, this will be zero. Do not forget, after replacing every element in your formed a joint matrix, or forming a joint matrix, may transpose pa. So, we have to transpose this. Okay? But before we transpose, do not forget the sign. Kasi ang kinuha natin, minors pa lamang. Which means, mag apply tayo ng sign for it to become cofactor. And ang sequence natin, positive. So, multiplied by positive 1, multiplied by negative. Which means, this becomes positive. Multiply by positive. Multiply by negative. Positive, negative. So, this will become positive. Positive, negative. This will be positive. Positive. So, the signs will be, this is positive, 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 negative. And as you can see, this goes back to the given matrix, right? So, ang gagawin na lang natin last is, to form the adjoint is to transpose this matrix. So, for the transpose of that matrix, that gives you the adjoint. So, let's transpose. So, parang nangyari, transpose lang natin to. Ano po? So, transposing this, you have okay, sine theta cosine phi and then cosine theta cosine phi and negative sine phi and then for second column, gawin natin siyang second row, sine theta sine phi cosine theta sine phi and cosine phi and then the third column would be cosine of theta, negative sine of theta, and zero. 
this now is our adjoint. So to make this an inverse, you have to divide this by 1. All elements or entries in the adjoint be divided by 1 since it is our determinant. And that gives you B inverse. So ito na yun. Kasi, di ba, pag dinivide mo to by 1, yun din ang sagot natin. So, it shows, balik natin ngayon to dun sa equation natin kanina. Our equation a while ago was B inverse times matrix A simply gives you C. So, ang matrix A natin are the spherical components and C are the Cartesian coordinates. So, yung B inverse natin is you have sine theta cosine phi. cosine theta cosine phi negative sine phi sine theta sine phi multiplied by our um, Cartesian uh, spherical matrix that's P R, P, theta, and P, phi equal to the Cartesian coordinates or components. So, kapag tayo ay nag-multiply, lalabas lang ulit yung, lalabas lang equation natin na Px is equal to sin theta cosine phi P, R plus cosine theta cosine phi P, theta minus uh, sine phi P, phi and so on. So, as you can see, it looks like just a transpose, but in full honesty, it's from an inverse. 